Hello again, everybody. Welcome to AMA Air, your source for all the top news from around the hobby. I'm Chris Savage. And I'm Erin Dobbs. Thanks for joining us. We've got another great show for you today. Later, we'll be hearing about a unique approach to bringing aerodynamics to students using a 3x5 index card. And we've got our next Generations of Flight Story of the Month from a member just like you. But first, let's take a look at some of the headlines from around the hobby. AMA and DJI are launching a joint program to promote safe and responsible drone operations, train public safety officers to use drones effectively, and support educational outreach efforts. Both organizations will use joint activities to inspire youth and adults to become involved in model aviation and recreational drone flying. Ryan Tong, DJI General Manager, had this to say about the partnership. By working with the AMA, we are encouraging safe operations by our pilots who are looking to progress in the hobby and to reach new audiences through this partnership. Recreational and educational operations are a key source of innovation and technology, and model aviation in particular inspires many to pursue careers in sciences, robotics, aviation, and beyond. DJI will also provide support to all of AMA's educational outreach efforts, including the UAS for STEM drone construction and flight competition. AMA President Rich Hansen will be traveling to the nation's capital to resume face-to-face -face meetings with lawmakers in an effort to protect and preserve Section 336. Last year, AMA aggressively engaged with both the House and the Senate to preserve the special rule for model aircraft, which protects our members from additional government regulations as long as the pilot is operating within the AMA's community-based safety program. In July 2016, it was announced that the special rule for model aircraft remained intact through September 2017. The third annual Indoor RC and Free Flight Build and Fly Competition will take place on April 14th. The event, founded by members of the Hatchapi Crosswinds, is part of the Mojave Experimental Fly-In. According to event organizer Brian Men, the Indoor Fly-In is an opportunity for modelers and their families to both fly and build. With the admission fee, attendees will receive a free flight model, a rubber band powered model kit, and all the necessary building supplies. There will be plenty of room to fly electric indoor RC models, as well as an activity area and a play area for the kids. Elliot Seguin of Wasabi Air Racing assures attendees that this event is all about aviation. He says that developing the fly-in was about, and we quote, creating an event for the freaks and unapologetically for the freaks. The indoor event will take place from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. at the Stuart O. Witt Event Center and is open to the public. More information can be found at TehachapiCrosswinds.com. The National Electric Fly-In has announced its 2017 dates. The event, open to pilots of all skill levels, will be held June 16th through the 18th at AMA headquarters in Muncie, Indiana. In addition to the annual event, ReadyMade RC will be hosting its FPV Fest on site as well. Entry fees for FPV Fest will be donated to support the AMA Foundation, and any entry fees for NEFI will be donated to the Animal Rescue Fund of Muncie, Indiana. Getting young children excited about flight is rarely a difficult thing to do. However, helping them understand how things fly can be a bit tougher. So what if you could take something as simple as an index card and a paper clip to help demonstrate the principles of flight? Well, I caught up with one member who's doing just that in his own community. I'm here at AMA Expo West 2017 at the Ontario Convention Center, and I have had what I consider the privilege to meet a pretty interesting individual. Would you like to introduce yourself? Well, thank you, Chris. My name is John Anderson. I'm the former general director and still active in the Harbor Soaring Society in Costa Mesa. We are a club, Harbor Soaring Society, 51 years old. The AMA Chartered Club started off flying sailplanes, and now it's uh, anything but gas and turbines. Our club has had the opportunity and the gumption to take on a lot of events, starting with the annual Scarecrow Festival which we just won three years in a row. And part of that Scarecrow Festival was to have a winning Scarecrow, but also part of that festival was to involve the youth of the community. One of the ways we did that 
is through our flying pumpkin designs. The kids sit down, they build them, they decorate them, and they fly them. But that, in turn, led to an interest in my childhood hobby of building paper gliders. I'd like to share with you one of the little simple exercises that I've come upon over years of trying to work through progressively more simple, more direct ways of getting kids to fly. The bill of materials, hopefully colorful index card stock, three by five. paper clips, tape, and a calibrated eyeball. All right. So now we have two pieces that don't fly. We have the piece of index card stock and we have the paper clip. But if we put the paper clip on the plane and bend it, a little dihedral, and bend it, some elevons, and maybe even put a piece of tape on it for a handle, maybe we can get it to fly. I think you guys are setting a great example uh, for all of our members, for all of our clubs to follow. We very, very much thank you for that. Well, it's not that we in invented the wheel. And we're well aware that many other clubs are doing some really great work. And I think it's incumbent on us, as a 51-year-old club, at this point, to do our fair share. And that's exactly what we're trying to do. That and all, only that. Well, thank you so much for all of your hard work. Please pass that along, of course, to all of your club members. And thank you for taking some time from the trade show today to talk with us. I really, really appreciate it. I enjoyed flying my planes in the foyer. It was lots of fun. Hope to continue doing it through the day. Please do. <laughs> Enjoy your day. My pleasure. Why use AMA custom products? It might be because each and every order is handled with care and precision. From the minute we receive it, to the time it arrives at your doorstep. It could be that our competitive pricing brings assurance that your needs can be met and you'll be actively contributing back to the hobby that you and we love. It might even be that the variety of the products we offer can give your club the true custom look it deserves. But how are we really different from the rest? Well, we know error modeling. And we know how to deliver the design and the products you want. AMA Custom Products. Call us to quote your next project. Each month, we're featuring a story submitted to us through Generations of Flight, a place devoted to showcasing you, your love for the hobby, and stories of time spent with family and friends. That's right. And today, we've got another very special story. John Garland writes, It all started in 1996 when my grandfather introduced me to radio-controlled aircraft. I had no idea what was to come later in life. I stuck through it throughout the years, and since I began flying RC, I knew what I wanted to be in life, and that was some type of pilot. For college, I attended Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University and graduated back in 2012 with a bachelor's degree in aeronautics with minors in UAS and air traffic control. A few months after graduating, I was offered a job to fly UAVs for a nav air program as an R&D test pilot working under latitude engineering. Today. I'm still with Latitude Engineering, flying their hybrid quad vertical takeoff and landing aircraft and teaching customers how to fly Latitude's aircraft. Without this hobby, I would have never discovered this dream job of mine. All of the investment my parents put into this hobby paid off at the end. Today, I have over 1,200 hours UAV time along with 700 hours manned aircraft time. Model Aviation has made my dream come true. To submit your story, Go to generationsofflight.com and click on Submit a Photo. You can also help preserve the history of model aviation by visiting the National Model Aviation Museum's History Project. You can read biographies, club stories, and company histories, or even submit your own. If you're interested in submitting your story or other modeling history, information can be found at modelaircraft.org. AMA Expo East is in the books. Thousands of attendees dropped by the Meadowlands Exposition Center this past weekend to explore the booths and experience the fun. And even if you couldn't be there, you too can experience the fun of AMA Expo East by heading over to modelaviation.com. 
Over the next couple of weeks, we'll be releasing video coverage from the show, sponsored by Motion RC. Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for joining us again on AMA Air. If you have a story you'd like to share that might be good for the show, visit air.modelaircraft.org and tell us about it by sending us an airmail. And if you're not already a member of the AMA, head on over to modelaircraft.org and sign up today. Until next time, so long everybody.